This mate scheme launching for India is set to be open for registrations late 2024. Under this new visa stream, which should be the 403, Indian graduates and early career professionals in targeted fields will be able to apply for this visa. must be aged between 18 to 30 and be outside of Australia when they apply. Now in this instrument you will be able to find the eligible institutions and they must also meet English requirements. You'll be able to apply through a ballot registration process and there's 3,000 spots per year. The Department of Home Affairs has just released the cutoff points for the 189 visa for the most recent invitation round. The most recent invitation round happened on the 7th of November 2024 and look at this 15,000 EOIs were invited. So let's have a look at some of the occupations and cutoff points. We've got accountants invited at 95 points, actuary invited at 85 points. This was interesting. The lowest points for architect was actually 70, which is quite decent. You've got ICT business analysts at 95 points. And you've got different cutoff for your different registered nurses there. So the lowest I can see is 70 points. And some of the other disciplines had higher points as well. I have received feedback for some people who have said that I had 70 points for social worker as well, but I wasn't invited. Now, look, I'm just speculating here, but I'm guessing for each occupation, there's probably a certain number of spots. And maybe there was 5,000 applicants at 70 points for social worker, but they only had 1,000 spots. So probably the first 1,000 got invited. That's my guess if that happened to yourself. But that goes to show it's really important to get your applications in as soon as possible, because when an invitation round comes, we do not know. It just happens and you have to be prepared for it. A lot of people are now becoming eligible for the 191 visa. To be eligible for the 191 visa, you must have been on the 491 or the 494 visa for the past three years. Now, the conditions of these two visas are slightly different, but you must have lived and worked in regional Australia for the past three years before you apply. Some people want to apply for the 491 visa, but they are concerned because by the time they're eligible for the 191, they'll be over 45. But I want to confirm that there is no age limit for the 191 visa a lot of visa applicants come to me in the last couple of weeks because the department is about to refuse their skilled visa. So what's happened is they've gone ahead and lodged a 189 or maybe a 491 visa. In the expression of interest application, they claimed points for their work experience. And as you know, you can claim points if you've been working in your nominated occupation. However, these applicants forgot about all the other requirements. So I had an applicant who was working as a carpenter and they claimed 10 points for working in Australia for the past three years. However, for one out of those three years, they were on a student visa, but they were working 40 hours a week. So actually, they had breached their student visa conditions. And if that's the case, you can't claim the points. It's clear in the regulations. But obviously, the applicant didn't know this. This is something in our firm that we're super strict about. So if we have a client who's claiming work experience, we ask for every single payslip, and we also ask for a copy of the visa they held during that work period. That is then checked by the lawyers and the senior lawyers to make sure that we are not over claiming points. So I know it seems simple that you can claim work experience or points or qualifications, but it's really important that you know the full story of it. Because with these applicants, the department isn't going to accept it. I think they're going to get their visas refused.